Well, right now it feels very stressful because I'm getting hot. No, I'm kidding. It's been awesome. I mean, I was real, so excited to hear that he was involved in this. And um, the best part is I think we both can take a joke. I think we both have a really dry sense of humor. And the CMTs are allowing me to basically make fun of this guy the whole time, which... It's awesome. Cheers. No, I just love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, it's been such it. a good time. It's great. She makes fun of me all the time. and uh, It's like that Saturday Night Live skit where we yeah we finish each other's sentences, sentences and, and then... then we yeah, eat lots uh, of sandwiches, sandwiches together. together. Mm -hmm. It's great. We're really one of the same. Really, the same. Well, she kind of left me in the dark. Uh, I told you you could spit on me, on did, my dress. She did say I that. Did. That's a that's an actual fact. She told me I could spit on her. So. I told you to walk slower uh, because I'm in heels. She did. And She's, I may need you to pick me up if I fall. She did. Sounds like a new country song we're writing Honestly, together. Honestly, I wouldn't have known a single word to say today if it wasn't for Aaron telling me everything to do. Right. Um, I'm very she, bossy. She's been fantastic. She's awesome. She has uh, been a lot of fun to work with. We bounce jokes back and forth off each other, and uh, it's really just been a lot of fun so far. There's not a lot of bouncing, though, and you have abs like these. Those. <laughs> Come on now. You get Where it? are you going to find humor like that? Between football and hosting, I think it's just the ability to take a joke and the ability to laugh at yourself, to be able to have fun and have that camaraderie back and forth, and I think that's what we've been able to have. And we're such big country music fans, so I think that's the coolest part. I mean, I know he's friends with a lot of these guys. I'm a big, you know, fangirl over Carrie, over Luke Bryan, over these guys, over JJ. And so, yeah, that's why I feel like we're kind of living vicariously through all, everybody that's watching. You know, it's our job as hosts to make sure everybody's having a great time to make sure the show stays on track. Uh, and then, you know, every now and then, if we can, get a few laughs out of people. So that's probably the biggest thing for us is just making sure it all stays smooth. And I think one of the things we kind of mentioned in our first conference call together is we both like making fun of ourselves. So I'm all for it. We are doing that tonight, which you're welcome, America. They will love that. And, you know, we kind of spoke a little bit when we said we were going to do this. Yeah. What? You don't have to make fun yeah, of us tonight. We'll we do will it do ourselves. it for ourselves, no okay? Need to tweet me we anymore. don't need the mentions, the tweets. Just leave it. We okay? get it. We got it. Faith Hill, Tim McGraw, Darius Rucker. Oh, wait. Um, no. Yeah, they got some bad news there. You're going to have them. all of them. First of all, Pitbull kicks off the show. And we got, have you ever seen his dancers? No. Just wait. Okay. Yes. I will wait. Uh, right. We have, I mean, we got Blake Shelton and the Oak Ridge Boys. It's going to be an incredible night. There's so many big name performers. Pharrell's coming. It's going to be incredible. Carrie Underwood. Hello. 45. It's a lot. It's a We're lot. starting with um, a mid-drift jersey. Mm -hmm. 99. 99. Nope. Of course. What's Brian Cushing's number? Oh, nice. I heard he wasn't available to come and host. Yeah. It was very out. awkward. He's working out. Well, he should. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I love you, Kush. Um, um, yeah, no, I don't know. It's, we're what are you just wearing? Gonna... What are you going to, like, what? Yeah, we were interested. I am curious, what are you doing? Because that's kind of, we were trying to match you, and we were not really getting feedback. Are you dressing yourself? I, uh. What went into your process? I looked at my clothing rack when I walked into my dressing room, and there was nothing on it. So Ladies, that could go hello. only one way, really. When I moved to Texas, I got drafted five years ago. And when I moved to Texas, within the first couple of days of moving down there, I got a cowboy hat and cowboy boots. So I have grown accustomed to the look. I enjoy it. And I try really hard not to hit Aaron in the face with my hat. <laughs> <laughs>